Hello Lima, brought to you by Good Food Restaurant, home of Happy Days, Beer Barrel, and Old City Prime. Also by Mercy Health Partners, the Tom All family of dealerships, 318 Restaurant and Bar, Lima Pallet Company, and M&W Construction. Welcome to another edition of Community Perspective. Hello Lima. We are going to bring to you today some winners of the Community Enrichment Dinner Awards, including Miracle, who is a fabulous story behind her award, as well as her growth and her opportunity as a young entrepreneur. Also, we're going to show you some of the highlights of where the proceeds go to and how we're going to make a lot of happenings through the Community Enrichment Dinner with support of the Walter Pot Center. Stay with us. The Community Enrichment Dinner has been a strong advocate for the Walter C. Pot Center over the years. This year, we're really proud to be able to support not only the Walter C. Pot Center, but the Makerspace, a strong community agency that's coming to Lima shortly. Take a look at this video. The Makerspace is pleased to be a catalyst for change in the Central Avenue Corridor. For the last several months, many people have been working hard to develop a facility that we believe will be a turning point for real economic change for residents in downtown Lima, including residents that many times feel disengaged in Lima's downtown economic upturn. We hope that the Makerspace will be a place where young people feel it has a downtown Columbus vibe. To invest in the promotion to ensure Lima's young people want to stay and come back to Lima will take creative and risky approaches. But through collaborative relationships, we can mitigate these risks while at the same time show community support toward this effort. By investing in Lima's first makerspace facility, the community is showing its commitment not only to small business, but also entrepreneurs, as well as students that are looking to become part of Lima's new downtown community. With this in mind, we are putting greater emphasis on the development of community-owned businesses. To invest in this type of project shows real meaning in the phrase, real American strength, because it will take a strong downtown Lima that brings real regional growth. Although this makerspace will be in downtown Lima, it is our goal that makerspace will be used by those that live in Lima, but a bigger hope that it will become a regional facility, bringing people from all over the region to downtown Lima. Before this next guest, which you guys are going to be inspired by her, I can tell you, take a minute and watch her video, and then we're going to be joined by America herself. Watch this. I just wanted to say thank you for choosing me to accept this award for Young Teenage Entrepreneurial. This is just an amazing experience for me. I would have never thought at 17 I would be able to have done something this great in my life. The people that are surrounding me makes me to be great. My family and my friends are what surrounds me. I love them very much and I can't wait for everyone to see what I have in store. Miracle, welcome to the show. It <laughs> certainly is a pleasure to have you. I've heard so much about you. And you just recently won the Young Entrepreneur Teenage Vision Award yes. at the Community Enrichment Dinner. Yes. How old are you, Miracle? I'm 17. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I, I'm 17. I'm a young teenage entrepreneur, like you just said. I have been in and out of foster care for 10 years. And I started a business called Platters for You that I wanted went for me to express my creativity in the culinary arts. And I'm going to back this up. Are you, a, you came through the foster system, America? Did I take that right? Yes. How many years? 10. How did you get to this point where you are now, which is a thriving entrepreneur, as young as you are, and giving back to the community, which people are going to see some of that today. How did you get to this kind of um, level in your life? Um, well, to, to be honest, I, it started a few years ago when I met the amazing family that I'm with today. They showed me another way of living my life and to be able to give back to the community, something I've always wanted to do. And when they took me and my siblings in and, and loved me and showed me that it's okay to be a kid and to have dreams and aspirations, it just 
when, when everything from blossomed from there. Yeah. And what your background is, Miracle, at, at Lima Senior High Culinary Program, is you're trying to develop not only your own company, which you've already done, but you're looking at culinary. Um, I take that right. As you look behind us, you see some of the things that you're doing. Is this a goal of yours? Yes. Um, when I graduate from Lima Senior High, I should I will have my culinary arts uh, certificate. Oh, and fabulous hopefully to expand my horizons in the culinary arts and it, hospitality. And as I know this isn't a lot of time, America, but the name of your company is called? Platters for You. And you're already out in the streets, so to speak. Yes. You've got contracts, you've got companies that you've serviced, and this is something that you started. Yes. I think that's fabulous, and I hope the people out there at the Hello Lima community sees from foster child to entrepreneur, the vision that a young person brings to the, to the Lima community, it's just, it's just, a, it's, it's just a blessing. Do you see yourself, Miracle, as, as a leader for others? Tell me a little bit about what you're doing to give back to the community at, at a young age. Um, well, since I've been through the foster care system and I know how it works, I thought to be, I thought to be able to give back to the community and the, through the foster care agencies by granting a, a wish or a miracle, as, as you can say, to um, the foster kids in the system who can't do or be certain things that I was blessed enough to do and be. So, for instance, today will be the first day where I will be uh, giving um, some of the proceeds from Potters for You and with the help of Leland's Coalition to a foster kid who graciously is goes to the school. So. All right, that is just fabulous. Hello, Lima. Understand what she's talking about. A young entrepreneur, a teenager, still a baby, still a kid who not only has developed her own program and company, yes. but also is giving back to other foster kids mm -hmm. with the hope of inspiring them to reach the same potential and the same level that you have. Yes. I hope people reach out to you, America, and I hope you continue to be a blessing on the community. And it's just great having you on Hello Lima. Thank you, Miracle. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, it was amazing. It's amazing. It's a blessing to be able to do this. Thanks. Stick around. We're going to have a couple of more winners on this show, and we're going to bring you some more what we call Visionary Award winners that came through the Community Enrichment Dinner. We'll be right back. I'd like to thank the sponsors of the Community Enrichment Dinner. Without them, we would never be able to do what we've been able to do over the years. Thank you to the sponsors. Let's take a look at them. Early in the morning when the Happy Day stores open, turn the grills on, get the coffee turned on, across town the beer barrels, there's a lot of prep work that has to be done, sauces being prepped on the stove, at Old City Prime everything's from scratch. I think the culture in our company is, is that we care about our people and in return our, our people care about our customers. Thank you so much to all of our team that's worked for us and thank you so much to all the communities that we're in for being such great customers. We at Lima Pallet Company, thank you Lima. In 1977, we started a small family business and today we continue to grow. Lima Pallet is a full service pallet and crate provider. Every customer is unique, which is why we build pallets and crates to our customer specific requirements. Because we have our own fleet of trucks, we're able to provide customers with on time, same day, and 24 hour emergency deliveries. Coming together is the beginning, keeping it together is progress, and working together is success. Let's continue to succeed. If you're looking for an honest, dependable, trustworthy auto repair facility, consider Tom All for all your foreign and domestic vehicles. Our goal is to give you such good service at such a low price that it'll knock your socks off. Our technicians have years of experience working on all types of vehicles. Whether your car needs brakes, transmission or engine work, diagnostic report, body work, paint repair, or just routine maintenance, we can do it all. We were a local family owned business located on downtown road in Lima. For quality work on your vehicle, take it to Tom. are the center of a universe, 
That's what we've learned in 160 years serving our community. Everybody means the world to someone. So when you're in here, or if someday you find yourself in here, and when all you can think about is the world that revolves around you, we'll be a world that revolves around you too. Mercy Health, healthcare for the universe of you. Hi, my name is Diamond Energy. I am the owner of Energy Enterprise LLC. I am a corporate event coordinator and a business coach. I am truly honored for the award for emerging business. I would like to thank everyone who is involved in the CED. Also, I would like to thank my personal assistant, Deshaya Carter. I would like to thank my family and friends for all of their support. I would like to thank God for his wisdom and knowledge that he continues to instill in me, giving me the motivation to do what I do. Thank you to everyone. Recognition is a reminder of our responsibility to what is being done and yet remains to do. I'm appreciative of the consideration of this committee and effort to spotlight that work in hopes that it calls to action the passion and talents of many more to join and collaborate in the great fight for equality. I need to recognize the efforts of our MBK, my Brother's Keeper team, Dr. Andrea Geis, Brother Jalen Duncan, and Brother Houghton Watson, and the Brother to Brother organization at Ohio Northern University, Brother Sean Russell, Sister Keisha Hampshire Drake, and the Bradfield team. Special thanks to our sponsors and contributors for what has been accomplished and what is to come. No one man is effective without a system of checks and balances. Because of all of you, endurance is possible. I encourage our Lima Allen County community to stand behind this effort of instilling, promoting, and restoring a positive racial identity, improving self-esteem, building resilience, and confidence in black boys and young men of color. Lastly, I am grateful to God for clarity and to my family and many mentors who provide humility and pace in my life. When we think about the spa's eight-year journey as a luxury spa brand, it brings an enormous amount of gratitude to our hearts. So what is gratitude? It's the quality of being thankful, a readiness to show appreciation for, and to return kindness. It has been said that the best prayer that anyone could say is thank you. We could not be where we are today without all the amazing people who supported our vision and mission on this journey. So with gratitude, we would like to thank and honor God. He gave us inspiration, direction, and guided our steps along this journey. We want to thank our family for their support through the long days and late nights. We want to show appreciation to our staff who grabbed on to the vision and helped us build an amazing spa experience. We also want to thank past employees who have moved on to the next step of their lives. They helped us build and grow and for them, we will always be grateful. We have to acknowledge our clients because without their support and choosing our spa as their haven of restoration, we wouldn't have been able to share our gifts and talent. It takes a community to build a legacy and we have made it one step further in ours. With gratitude, Shelly and Natasha. give honor and thanks to God who is the head of my life. I want to thank the Lima Community Enrichment Dinner for awarding me with this award. It's such, such an honor and a blessing. I want to thank my family, my friends, just all my loved ones just for being there and supporting me throughout the years. I most definitely want to thank my clients who has been with me throughout the years. It has been a long journey and they've stuck by my side, keep uplifting me and pushing me. And I just want to let y'all know how much I appreciate this award and how grateful I am. Thank you.
behalf of Ford Motor Company and Lima Engine Plant. I'm uh, happy to accept the Corporate Diversity Award. And uh, Sorry we couldn't be there in person tonight, but I uh, just wanted to let you all know I appreciate the award. On behalf of the UAW and the members of this facility, we are also very proud to be a part of this. At Ford, we're always striving to complete a company where everybody's differences can be valued, and we want everybody to bring their whole selves to work. We've been a member of the community for over 60 years, and we look forward to continuing to work in the diversity and inclusion area. So again, very proud to accept this award. I am extremely honored to receive such a prestigious and important award as the Community Legacy Service Award. Joining past recipients who devoted so much in providing consistent service to the greater Lima community. This reward is a reflection of my growth expectations. A special thanks to those who nominated me and supported my nomination. Also special thanks to the Community Enrichment Committee. And of course, thank you to my wife, extended family, and friends for being there, always supporting me. To serve requires sacrifice, commitment, and a burning desire to help others succeed in life's journey. It is important to recognize and appreciate others that help you find time to serve. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. Thank you. Welcome back to Hello Lima, a Community Perspectives. Great show today. We are pleased to be joined with Jesse Pope. Jesse, Community Enrichment Dinner Legacy Service Award recipient at the Community Enrichment Dinner that just was held. Um, how do you feel? You know, I, I feel great, you know, but at the same time, uh, I'm humbled that I received it uh, for the time that I've been in the community. Uh, but again, uh, you always have that feeling that uh, there's a number of people who have done a lot of great things in the, uh, in the community. And if I could take a quick minute, yeah. the Supreme Court Justice gave you that award that night, and I remember people were coming up and saying the legacy that you've commended in this community, that you've done in this community, the service that you've given for so many years, just it was sort of apropos that the Justice was the one who gave you that award, and people still feel somewhat happy that they have leaders like you to look up to. Well, you know, again, I, I'm humbled, but you know, the same, at the same time, I'm a, a very appreciative of uh, the time that I put in because the commitment that I have is basically just a sacrifice that I have in seeing the community grow and doing what I can to, to work with the and, youth. And, and along that so. same li line, Jesse, you are stepping back into the role of the POT Center Director. I know that's a big part of the funding from the Community Enrichment Dinner, and with your leadership, I Get the feeling that big things are coming through the Walter C. Pot Center? Well, we've, we're definitely going to do the best that we can to, to make things uh, uh, really uh, move uh, in, the, in the community. I think we have a lot of great things going and the opportunities are there. So we're going to do as much as we can looking at oh, the experience that I've had uh, working there and looking at the weaknesses as well. And right. um, now I think the timing is right to do uh, the, a lot more in the community. The type of things that you're looking for. Right, well, right. Well, and again, Lima, the Community Enrichment Dinner has been a proud sponsor. A portion of the sponsorships go to the Walter C. Potts Entrepreneur and um, Training Center. Having said that, Jesse Pope, director, stepped back in that role as director, and part of his goal is to not only encourage small business development, but I think you're going to spotlight some training. Can you wrap that up in the next 30 seconds, Jesse? Uh, that's the key. I, I think the, it, it's one thing to start a business and uh, have a name on paper, but the, the other thing is you, you really need the uh, training and uh, knowing how to uh, tap into the resources that are available to, to make yourself a, have, have a strong business, and, and that's, the, that's what we really need. And be sustainable. Right. That's excellent, though. Mm -hmm. Again, congratulations, Community Legacy Service Award recipient Jesse Pope. Director of the Walter C. Potts Center and community advocate. I mean, it's a pleasure to have skill sets like Jesse Pope in our community. Thank you, Jesse. 
Don't go away. We'll be right back. I'd like to thank the sponsors of the Community Enrichment Dinner. Without them, we would never be able to do what we've been able to do over the years. Thank you to the sponsors. Let's take a look at them. You are the center of a universe. That's what we've learned in 160 years serving our community. Everybody means the world to someone. So when you're in here, or if someday you find yourself in here, and when all you can think about is the world that revolves around you, we'll be a world that revolves around you too. Mercy Health, healthcare for the universe of you. We at Lima Pallet Company, thank you Lima. In 1977, we started a small family business and today we continue to grow. Lima Pallet is a full service pallet and crate provider. Every customer is unique, which is why we build pallets and crates to our customers' specific requirements. Because we have our own fleet of trucks, we're able to provide customers with on-time, same-day, and 24-hour emergency deliveries. Coming together is the beginning, keeping it together is progress, and working together is success. Let's continue to succeed. From early in the morning when the Happy Day stores open, turn the grills on, get the coffee turned on, across town the beer barrels, there's a lot of prep work that has to be done. Sauces being prepped on the stove, at Old City Prime, everything's from scratch. I think the culture in our company is, is that we care about our people, and in return our, our people care about our customers. Thank you so much to all of our team that's worked for us, and thank you so much to all the communities that we're in for being such great customers. If you're looking for an honest, dependable, trustworthy auto repair facility, consider Tom All for all your foreign and domestic vehicles. Our goal is to give you such good service at such a low price that it'll knock your socks off. Our technicians have years of experience working on all types of vehicles. Whether your car needs brakes, transmission or engine work, diagnostic report, body work, paint repair, or just routine maintenance, we can do it all. We were a local family owned business located on downtown road in Lima. For quality work on your vehicle, take it to Tom. Welcome back. The Community Enrichment Dinner has a history in Lima. The show that we put on today kind of gives you an insight into how important that dinner has been, not only in terms of helping agencies and organizations that are promoting inclusivity and diversity, as well as entrepreneurship. It's been impactful by bringing people from all walks of life together in our community, and it has been a blessing to bring it to you each year. This year's dinner, we had the special privilege of having the Black Violin join us. I'm going to give you not only a taste of what the Black Violin presented that night, but as we close this show out, a little bit of how that dinner has been impactful over the years. Take a listen. Hi, I'm Kev Marcus from Black Violin. The Community Enrichment Dinner has been a vital fundraiser for the Walter C. Potts Foundation and the Lima Minority Community, generating over 50000 a year for 10 years. The CED fundraiser has played a pivotal role in providing nonprofit organizations with financial donations since 2016. And we here at Black Violin want to thank you so much for all that you do. We can do anything.
From the very first dinner over a decade ago, the Community Enrichment Dinner was purposeful in its intent. That was to sit together with a diverse group of Lima residents and recognize, but more importantly, to show the passion and the strength that the Black community brings to the Lima region. And as we come together to celebrate this experience, the unity of differences, it is what makes our communities so great. Black, white, rich, poor, young or old, Democrat or Republican, those that feel forgotten to those we ask to stand as dignitaries, we understand tonight that the true meaning of inclusion is the enrichment of lives throughout Lima of all people. We understand that it would not be easy and can break your spirit, but understanding it is staying with the breaking that produces the blessing. Lima, the impossible is possible. All the things they say Thank you for joining us this afternoon. It was a great show, had great guests, along with a great understanding of what the Walter C. Potts Center is about, as well as the Makerspace. Community Enrichment Dinner was excellent this year, as like it has been in the past. So continue to join Hello Lima, a community perspective, ABC at 11 o'clock. Join us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and like always, please send us your questions and answers about what we can do to continue this show. Thank you. Hello, Lima. Brought to you by Good Food Restaurant, home of Happy Days, Beer Barrel, and Old City Prime. Also by Mercy Health Partners, the Tom All family of dealerships, 318 Restaurant and Bar, Lima Palette Company, and M&W Construction.